Hello, this is Jack Abed coming with an intellectual property law update. As you may be aware, the United States and Patent and Trademark Office issues a lot of patents. And when they issue patents, which occurs every Tuesday routinely, uh, and by routinely, that's just the way it's always occurred as far as I know, at least during the years I've been practicing, they also issue the patent in a paper form and they mail it to your attorney of record. Here's an example right here. It's got a little, nice little piece of documentation. It's nicely bound. It has the seal of the USPTO on it of the director. And it is a printed copy of your patent. And here's one of the patents that I recently got for a client of mine. And this is done free of charge currently. You do pay the issue fee, but included in that is a what they, they consider a ceremonial one. Well, that's not ceremonial currently, but a copy, a printed copy of your patent. On April 18th, Tuesday, April 18th of this year, the Patent Office is transitioning to an electronic grant of these patents. And this will be the beginning of a transitional period. During this transitional period, the actual official copy will be electronic and it will be available immediately uh, at 12.01 a.m. on April 18th for that week and every Tuesday thereafter. And they will also be mailing a, what they are now calling the ceremonial, this guy, copy of the patent to your attorney free of charge during the, during the transitional period. They have not yet figured out the time, how long this transitional period is going to last, but after the transitional period concludes, they're going to stop mailing out the free copy, and it'll just be an electronic copy. So if you want a free copy, uh, or a printed copy, not free copy, a printed copy, you're going to have to pay for that once the patent issues. So long and short of it, the, free, the included paper copy is no longer going to be available after this transitional period, but more importantly, it's going to change the timelines. In the past, when we paid the issue fee, we got an issue notice approximately two to three weeks thereafter. They gave you another two to three weeks of time before the patent actually issued. With these electronic grants, that timeline is going to be compacted sub substantially. As the USPTO is indicating, you're still going to get an issue notice, but it's going to be on Wednesday or Thursday, the, the next Wednesday 30, excuse me, next Wednesday or Thursday after you pay your issue fee, and it's going to issue the next week. So realistically, you have less than one week uh, before your patent will issue, which is good for reducing the amount of pendency before your patent issues, but also gives you less time to fi file what we, what we call follow-up applications, continuations, continuations in parts, divisionals, and so on and so forth. So it's going to be very important for your patent attorneys to uh, keep track of that and make sure they're on top of their, fi uh, their follow-on filings and not waiting to the last second, so to speak. You're still going to get an issue notice. Uh, and in particular, if you're uh, participating in electronic notification programs with the USPTO, you still get notice. It's not going to surprise you. But some folks are still utilizing, relying on mailed copies of the issue notices coming to them. And if that's the case, by the time you get the issue notice, which is going to be mailed out on Wednesday or Thursday, it's likely your patent's going to have already issued when you get it. So it will be important for those folks to be on top of that type of stuff. Again, if you, uh, that's the new update from the USPTO. So no more paper copies, or not paper copies without a charge. And uh, it'll, be e it'll be electronic grants starting on April 18th.